Hi, this is Dr. Bernie Hansen for VMC 937. Today, Allison, Andrea, Rizzo, and I are going to demonstrate the technique of urinary catheterization of a male dog. Supplies needed for the lab include clean cotton balls, some soaked with diluted ediderm soap solution, and others with sterile water. We have way too many cotton balls in these trays. You only need maybe six of each. Additional supplies include clippers, a 60cc catheter tip syringe, a packet of sterile lubricant, scissors, a 22 inch 8 French red rubber catheter, and clean examination gloves. If your dog has long hairs at the tip of his sheath, use the clippers to remove them. Take care to not scratch the dog's skin. Dogs should be restrained in lateral recumbency for the procedure. If your dog is sedated or just cooperative, one person can usually restrain the dog and exteriorize the penis. To extrude the penis from its sheath, gently grasp the base of the Oz penis and pull the sheath back from the tip. You can usually then keep it exposed by hooking your index finger over the top of the sheath to hold the sheath in a retracted position. Now that the penis is exposed, Andrea is using her right arm to pin Rizzo's neck to the table and hold down the foreleg to prevent Rizzo from righting himself. Her index finger is retracting the sheath and her left hand and forearm are holding Rizzo's rear leg out of the way. Next, the tip of the penis is gently cleaned with diluted soap solution and thoroughly rinsed with sterile water. Note that because many of the dogs used in this laboratory have atopy, they are extremely sensitive to surgical soap and that is why we are using ediderm solution instead. In the hospital, we routinely use chlorhexidine surgical soap. Now we are ready to prepare the catheter. The technique Andrew will use here involves cutting a movable piece from the sterile outer wrap that will allow her to handle and advance the catheter without touching it and without the need for sterile gloves. She is removing the distal few inches of the wrap to expose the catheter tip and then creates a movable piece that is a couple of inches wide. The catheter tip is lubricated with sterile water-soluble lubricant and then introduced into the tip of the penile urethra. The movable piece is used to grasp and advance the catheter one to two inches at a time and it is advanced to the level of the pubic bone. If you are not sure how far that is, you can ask an assistant to hold a second unopened catheter alongside of the one you are inserting so that you can get an idea how far advanced it has gone into the dog. Once the tip of the catheter enters the bladder, you may see urine flowing into the outer wrap as it is here. That is your signal that the catheter has advanced far enough. At this point, you may hold the catheter stationary and remove the outer wrap, then attach the catheter tip syringe to the catheter. Aspirate some urine to confirm that it flows freely. If your dog's bladder is very full, remove a full syringe worth to partially empty it and dispose of the urine in the sink. Once the procedure is complete, the catheter is gently withdrawn. If your dog is awake, be sure to give him a treat. Thanks, Rizzo.